Hello everyone, welcome to PSP e-commerce project tutorial for beginner. In this tutorial, what we will do is that when the user log in, then it will send the user back to the same page. So let me just log in over here. So I'll say here test at the of gmail.com and if I give the password, then click on login, it will send us to this page. Here you can see this is user base and we have the logout option. So what we will do is that when the user log in, it will send the user back to the home page what i mean is this page and stroke register and login will have the logout option here when a user is logged in so for it let's go back to our code and we'll go to our home folder and inside home folder there you can see we have login.php and here if we go down here we are checking if user type equal to user then we are storing the email address in this session and we are also storing the user type and after that we are sending the user to this page which is location uh, user page.php which is this one so here you can see we have here a text this is user base and the logout option so instead of this what we are going to do is after login we'll send the user back to the index.php so currently we are inside the home folder and index.php is outside the home folder so we need to give to dot dot then a slash then we are going to say here index.php so if we now save this then if you now refresh here then let's click login and let's keep the email address which is test at the of gmail.com and let's give the password then click on login there you can see it took us to the same page so currently we are logged in but our number still show us the register and login option so instead of this register and login we need to have logout option here so for it let's go back to our code and we'll go to our index.php and here you can see uh, in the index.php we have some php opening and php closing so inside this php opening and closing we'll say here session underscore start start and you can see that from the login.php we are getting the session user email and those session user email will be sent to this location so that's why we said here session underscore start after that we'll go down and here you can see we have the login and the register option so how to do is that we are going to check if this session uh, user underscore email is exist or not and that session email only will only exist when a user is logged in so we say here if okay since we are going to write some php code so we need to give the php opening then the php closing here so here i'm going to write a if condition we say here if to first bracket then i can just copy this from here dollar underscore session user email and i'll paste this inside this if then we'll give to second bracket and right now inside this we're going to write some html code so for it uh, we need to close the PSP opening here after this second bracket so we'll close the PSP opening here and for this second bracket we need to start on more PHP uh, PHP opening so we'll say here PHP opening so right now inside this what we are going to do is that we are just going to copy this anchor tag href logout so I'll just copy this and I will paste it over here inside this if condition and here you can see the logout.php is inside the same folder ecom project just as index.php and logout so i can just remove the dot dot from here so right now since currently we are logged in it means the user email exists so it will show us the logout option if you now save then refresh here there you can see it is showing us the logout option and if we click on logout it will let the user log out but the thing is when we are logged in we shouldn't see the register and the login option and obviously we'll just the logout design just wait a little bit let me just fix the condition for register and login so here what we'll do is the if started over here and it ended here right so 
we are going to give a else condition here. So we say here else then to second bracket. So here you can see the if condition started here and it ended here, then we started the else condition. So inside this else condition, we are going to keep this uh, register and the login. So again, what we are going to do is that we are going to close this PSV opening here after this second bracket. Just don't get confused and just put the PSV opening and PSP closing properly. Okay. So for this uh, second bracket, we are going to again say PHP. There you go. So here inside this else condition, uh, this to second bracket, we are going to cut this register and login button and we'll paste it here. There you go. So if session exists, we will show the logout option. And if the session do not exist, then we'll show the register and login option. Let's just save this. And uh, let me refresh. And there you can see it no longer showing us the register and login option. And let me just make a simple design for the logout button. So here, let me just mention a class. Let's say class name will be logout underscore button btn. And uh, let me just go to my style.css. I can just directly go down. And here I'm going to say dot log out underscore button to second bracket. We are going to say background color will be sky blue. The text color will be white and the padding will be, let's say 10 px and border radius. It will be, let's say 14 px. So let's save this and let's go to our browser. Let me just refresh and there you can see the logout button design here. And right now, if I just click on logout, it will take us to the login page. Okay, let me just uh, do one thing that is when we log out, it will send the user back to the home page. So here we're going to say stop home slash login dot PHP. We're going to say index dot PHP. Let's save this and let me just log in from here to the test at the top gmail.com. Let's keep the password. Click login. It will take us to the home page with the logout option. And if I click on logout, it will send us back to the index.php. And obviously there is a error undefined array key. So right now here you can see when we logged out, it shows us a error and the login and registration button is still here. Here you can see register and login button. So we do not want to see this error. So what we can do is that we'll just go back to our code and at the top of our index.php, we are going to say here error reporting. This will be zero. And in this with the same clone. So make sure to write this. So right now, if we save it, then refresh here. There you can see there is no error. We have the register and login option. If we click on login and let's login as a user, let's keep the password here click on login it will take us to the same place and we have the logout option there you can see everything is looking properly and if you click on logout it will take us to the home page and with the register and login option so this is how you can redirect the user to the same place after login i hope this was easy for you to follow if you have any question just let me know in the comment section make sure to subscribe and i hope to see you in the future tutorials